he, he believed that uh, the, the majority, the vast majority of women that he met in those places not only uh, desired to be sexually assaulted, but desired to be violently uh, sexually assaulted. That's the insight into convicted sex offender Bobby Jack Fowler's mind, and now he's linked to one of the Highway of Tears victims. Fowler is responsible for the murder of 16-year-old Colleen McMillan. On August 9th, 1974, Colleen left home with a plan to hitchhike to a friend's house nearby. She walked up to Highway 97 and disappeared. Colleen was a lovely, sweet, innocent 16-year-old kid. And there are still no words in the world to express how terribly she was wronged. Advances in technology has allowed Epana, a special unit created to investigate these unsolved cases, to link Fowler to McMillan, and they believe he may have gotten away with more crimes. He remains a person of interest in the remaining cases, such as 19-year-old Gail Ways and 19-year-old Kamloops resident Pamela Darlington. The RCMP know Fowler worked in the Prince George area in 1974, the same year Colleen McMillan was murdered. Close by, Gail Ways and Pamela Darlington were also murdered. But he was convicted 21 years later for another crime against women, one in Newport, far removed from the northern BC killings. It has been a long wait for answers, and although it is a somewhat unsatisfactory result, because this individual won't have to stand trial for what he did. Epana has confirmed that Fowler is not the only killer responsible for all the deaths along BC's northern highways. Initially, they thought the killings were the work of a serial killer, but now they've ruled that out. However, they say there could still be one in the mix. The RCMP are working with Oregon detectives to see if they can link Fowler to other crimes. Angela Jung in Surrey for BCIT Magazine.